What's up everybody? Welcome to this video. We just wanted to do a fun video showing you our work from home kind of office studio setup. So this is a desk tour video. I'm a filmmaker, photographer, Taylor, Joshua, Niles. We all kind of do filmmaking and photography. So we just wanted to do like kind of a lo-fi, just kind of casually walk through what's on our desks. This is not a full room studio tour, but uh, yeah, if you're interested, just enjoy this video. And also during Joshua's desk setup, we're actually gonna pick the giveaway for July's ad revenue. We're giving away like 2,200 bucks to two winners. So like $1,100 each. All right, so the first winner is so. Joshua will pick a random comment in that section. Anyways, let's get to it. First things first with me, this is clutch right here. First thing on the list. These are Tiva slippers. These slippers are so sick. They have like a back flap. You can go into full slipper mode or fold it down. But anyways, you gotta be comfortable if you're editing all day long. Speaking of comfort, my chair. This is the Secret Lab Titan, I think. I definitely splurged on this chair. This was like right when kind of COVID hit and we were pretty much stuck at home. I was like, all right, well, I need something that my back can be supported. Feels good to edit for long stints of time. My desk itself is actually a Husky desk from Home Depot and we won't go too close, but look at this mess. We got two drawers full of just phones, cables, receipts, hard drives. I love this desk because it's pretty much a flat top, just like a slab of wood, but then you have these drawers which you can hide your stuff. But I don't clutter it too much because the drawers are kind of skinny, so you can only put certain things in here. Under the desk, we actually have some RGB lights, or they go like full, they're little LED lights, so I just kind of have a color going right there for the vibes. My headphones, the Shure, SRH 840s, pretty happy with these headphones. So this is a Rode, the arm is made by Rode, and this is a Rode pod mic with like a filter. Pretty happy, this is great for voiceovers, for podcasting, shout out to Dad Strides. Um, and yeah, I like that I can just mount it to the desk over here and it clamps right on the side. Then we have this just chilling here. Shout out to all of you for making this happen. This is like our $100,000. <laughs> I wish we made $100,000. Someone had to keep it and I was just like, I'll take it for now. But uh, yeah, Taylor, Joshua, Niles, if you want it, I'll ship it to you. This vlog camera right here usually sits on this, but this is the Benro Table Pod Pro, tabletop tripod. It's super good carbon fiber. I did a video about this, which I will link in the description about some Benro products, but this one is so good for the desk. Um, right here is an Elgato ring light and this is a really, really cool light. I know it's Elgato, they make some kind of premium products, but I really am happy with it. And it super easy, off and on, you kind of have different intensities you can do, but for a lot of video calls, working at home, Zoom calls, having that there is sweet, but you can also mount your camera. There's a quarter 20 thread right here. Moving down to hard drives, I pretty much use all GTEC hard drives. So this is like a 10 terabyte, mate major backup kind of one, and these are two. Oh, it's plugged in. These are two, I think, five terabytes each. So these are kind of the slower hard drives. And then here, I'll take the camera real quick. Look behind here, and we have on this iMac shelf, three drives that are kind of my quote unquote working drives. I probably have like 25 terabytes of storage just right here. And then I have some older stuff like backed up on other drives, but GTEC drives are so sick. This audio interface is super nice. This is the Motu M2, and it lets me plug in XLR microphones <clears throat> or music instruments, whatever. You just have good audio interface with phantom power, so 48 volts. So this powers the microphone here. You got good levels and a headphone out. The reason I really like the Mo Motu M2 is that it is bus powered. So this plugs USB-C from the back to USB-C on my iMac and I don't need to use and make more cable, you know, mess. So I don't need, don't show that. This is a 27 inch iMac 2019 or 20. I can't remember. I think it's a 2020. Um, 5K, I am rocking 64 gigs of memory, 
with the Radeon Pro Vega 48, eight gigs of graphics. I'm not like, I wish I knew more about computers, but this was a pretty souped up one for the time. And I do use a wireless keyboard and I just use the Apple Magic Mouse. iPhone 12 mini, been using this for basically the whole year that this cycle of phone has been out. 12 mini is sick, got the moment case on it with MagSafe. So I have like MagSafe accessories. Two tech decks, shout out. Okay, first try kickflip. Uh, oh. I didn't catch it. This is a, just a piece of tech that is not really related to photo video, but this is a Garmin inReach Mini. Recently got it for exploring in the backcountry and being safe. It's just a satellite communication device. This is a vintage clock that I got for $4 at Goodwill. Yeah, so I just listen to radio all day long when I'm working. We have an Epson V600 photo scanner. So I've been learning to do a lot of like, I shoot a lot of film, so that's more of a hobby. I don't get really paid to do any film work or anything, but hit me up. Yeah, I just got a medium format camera here, which I'm loving. Here's a photo I took on it and scanned myself. I also shoot 35, some point and shoot stuff. So that's the scanner. We got this camera here. This is Olympus Muju 2 and the Pentax 645. Aperture 120D light over here. Oh, and don't mind this mess of, you've probably been looking at this shelf over here. That is just like, got some prints here. Um, and that camera is a Fuji X100F. I kind of just like it on the wall there, but I kind of just grab this if I want to take pictures of my daughter or my dogs or just like digital, obviously, thumbnails or close-up product stuff. I love having a digital option, but this is what my go-to is. It's the older model, but I paid for it before the new one came out, and I, I think it's fine. A little soft at F2, but that's okay. Okay, and then moving on to right here, which I think will most likely wrap up kind of my setup, is the negative supply scanning setup. It's basically, and it's not a scanner, it's a digitizer kind of, because you're taking a photo with your camera on this light bed. And I have this plugged into this Zenger just power bank. So it powers this light and then you can put your film through here. They do make a 120 film like holder. I don't have that one yet. So this is just set up for 35 and that's why I'm still scanning 120 on the flatbed scanner. But I actually really like the results on this. I did a whole video on this. So if you wanna check that out, I'll link that in the description below. Fuji X-T4 with an 80 mil macro. So yeah, this is like a kind of a vintage table. Kind of have this little L shape there, but overall this has this is my setup. Kind of sit here all day long with the slippers, of course. Probably get another coffee going after this. Hello and welcome to my desk. My desk is somewhat of a sacred space for me. This is where I do a lot of editing. I just, I spend a lot of time here. I work here, sometimes I even shoot here. This is just sort of my space to work and work on creative projects. So it's a very, very, very special place to me. So I can't wait to walk you through my desk and show you what we've got on here. All right, so first up we have this nice little display corner. Um, it is mostly just to put cameras on. I just really wanted a little space to put some of my cooler, most favorite cameras on because I like to look at them. They're pretty and they keep me excited as I'm logging in long hours at this desk. So um, I've got my Mamiya RZ67, which I actively shoot with quite a lot. I've got two vintage land cameras that are not functioning, but are definitely very beautiful. I also have my Fujifilm 6x9 up here, which I also shoot with. Up top, we have a Super 8. And then up top here, I have two of my cooler items. These are vintage. This one is a Polaroid canister full of little lenses for an old Polaroid. I have no idea. I've never seen anything like it, um, but very cool. Um, and then I have this old Kodak film canister. <laughs> yellow and green, absolutely fantastic. Uh, and I will keep this forever and it will always, always, always be on my desk. Right next to my little display shelf, I have got a couple of photo books right here, two of my absolute favorites. If you follow me on Instagram, I've been having a lot of conversations about 
photography in print rather than uh, the digital world. And it's been very interesting and it's really inspired me to interact with photo books a lot more than I historically have. And so I made it a point to put them on my desk. It's great to take a break from work or editing or whatever I'm doing and flip through those and like touch a photograph and feel a photograph and inspect it in real life rather than on my screen. So there's some photo books. I also have some right here under my Fuji as well. So they're just right in my face and I can't forget about them that way. <laughs> then we've got my handy little Nomad wireless charger. I love this thing so much. Uh, it's where I actually charge my work phone. Um, so next up, of course, is my laptop. This is a MacBook Pro from, I don't remember what year. Do you guys like this angle? This is, I've got my trusty mouse, of course, and then, of course, my Lifeline, my Lacey hard drive. I own about 18 of these, and by the time I die, I will probably, I don't even wanna know how many I'll own, so. Next up, we have my very cute little fabric coaster. You can guess what this is used for. And here's the other side of my desk where I've got a nice candle, and then I've got this little tin full of very cool pins and just more miscellaneous things. So this desk is a crank up desk, so it can be a standing desk, which is awesome. And I store my headphones right here on the little crank lever. These are my Sony's and they are so trusty and I love them to death. I didn't mention, boop, these guys. Um, we posted a YouTube shorts the other day. Those were in the background. A lot of people asked where I got them. They were actually a gift to me. So sweet. Tyler's mom got those for me for Christmas. I love them so much, which is why I put them right above my desk so I can see them all day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for following along. All right, all right, all right. What's up, y'all? Wow, you gotta just be blasting, don't you? What is up everybody? Welcome to our desk space. And I say ours because my wife and I actually share the space. Uh, we have both our iMacs here and she's actually behind the camera right now. So a uh, shout out to my wife who is holding it down with the baby in her belly. All right, so let's do it. Let's come over here. This is actually, we call this the Nook. Um, obviously it's a nice cozy little space. Um, over here we actually have a work table where I, where I tend to keep cluttered, <laughs> but right now we did tidy up a little bit. This is the cleanest our space, bless you, the cleanest our space has ever looked. I um, have my lunch right there too, but yeah, it's a little table. She draws on it or whatnot. I have um, temporarily my uh, 300D. My uh, 300D over here, um, I was lighting some product stuff, but the idea is to actually use this wall as a little corner, maybe a chair there, but also where we can actually shoot some product stuff because we have some nice natural light coming in like that. So actually over here, let me turn on the, the, the main event. We actually didn't know this was a thing when we first moved into here. So um, actually I'm gonna say, this is actually the best purchase I've made in 2021. We finally got a printer. <laughs> and this was like 50 bucks, yo. This is the best purchase I've made in a while. All right, so here's over here on my side. So at the top, I have um, the actual two awards I've actually won in the last three years. They're cinematography awards for uh, my short film, 125 pounds, best cinematography and best experimental film. So that's pretty cool. So I have those up there. And here, um, typically we like to keep all of our cameras available that we're going to use. So all of our Fuji stuff. So I have my XS10, the XE4, some lenses, there's actually more lenses downstairs, and then some lenses here for the Sony that we're reviewing, which is this camera right here. Uh, and then over here, I have my Blackmagic Pocket 6A Pro. I sometimes leave it up here or downstairs in the cage, but I have all my new lenses that I recently got. The 15 mil for Carl Zeiss, uh, 21, 35, and 85. But let's see, let's actually jump over down to the, what we like to call peripherals. I used to be into like desk setups a while ago. You remember that? Um, so right now I have here this pad from Nomad. This is 
kind of a nice charge. Um, it charges this pretty fast for the, the ear pods. I have my Apple Watch charger too. And then um, I actually just use a regular charger for my iPhone here. Over here, we have some hard drives. These are my drives that I use for, um, for Moment content. So we have a two terabyte SSD and a one terabyte SSD. Uh, pretty fast, obviously, with USB-C and um, what's the other one? Lightning, that's right, Lightning as well. Uh, big shout out to Jason who makes these um, tin cans for SSD cards. I think they're really clever. They make, he makes them out of like vintage eight millimeter cans. You can actually see right here, here's the box. Yeah, pretty sick, um, all authentic. And so big shout out to him, he sent that over. Uh, let's see, we have my Angelbird CFast card reader. This thing is blazing fast. So I use CFast cards, obviously, for my cinema cameras, the Blackmagic Pocket, and my Z Cam. And then I have a little HomePod we tend to use for just listening to music in the evening. So over here, I kind of, this is starting to turn out to be like a hard drive graveyard, other than my beast of a 24 terabyte drive. This is the 24 terabyte um, G Tech drive, G Shuttle drive. And this is where I housed all of my projects on the side. Um, I have about seven terabytes left, so I need to do some cleanup. But here's the main stage. This is the 2020 iMac, the last one before they're gonna switch over to the M1 chips or whatever the new M chips are gonna be. Uh, this is totally specced out. This has 96 gigs of RAM, eight gigs of video memory, I believe, and then the highest specs of Intel before, again, before they stop making these. This also has the nano crystal um, screen and it's actually very helpful because this window right here brings in a lot of light and glares, but this works pretty well uh, for what I needed to do. So yeah, that is literally the space. All right, so now I'm here at my desk. Let's actually go pick the two winners from our recent short. We asked everyone to comment their nickname. And all you have to do is comment in this short. What you have to comment is your nickname. I'll go first. What's up? I'm Rick Daddy. And uh, some of them are really funny. So uh, let's do it. It's a lot of names going through. And the winner is... All right, so the first winner is Andrew Mardon. It's only me like clapping here, but what's up? You just won $1,100. Congrats. So let's do this next one. And the second winner is Josue Milio. Congrats. So congratulations to both of you guys. You just won $1,100 each. Make sure to email us at helloshopmoment.com and we'll get you that information and, and the money. So congrats, yo. So everyone has been showing you these awesome, you know, desk setups, these studios. I wouldn't say I have a nice studio because what I have is a garage. Now, this isn't just any garage, you know. Actually, no, it, that's exactly what it is. It's just, it's just, it's just a garage. And in this garage is where I, where I work. Um, yeah, it's where I work. I think the really important thing, and the reason I wanted to show this not very cool setup, there's a, there's a water heater, is because you don't actually need a really nice desk setup to be creative and get work done, but it probably helps. So right now, this phase of life, we bought a place to live about a year ago, Mortgages are expensive, got rid of my studio, and now I work in my garage. Desk, I have my running, running stuff, some hats. I have surfboards, my daughter's little pink surfboard, thing sick. Uh, my e-bike, sick. We also park a car in here, but most of the days I pull the car out in order to actually have space to move. I can close the door, it's quiet, and I've made some videos that I'm pretty proud of in a space that is otherwise not that inspiring. You don't really need a really cool office to make good work. It helps, but a good office isn't a prerequisite for making anything creative, fortunately for me. So yeah, I mean, maybe one day I'll get back in that really cool studio, um, but until then, I'm here. All right, I'll make this pretty quick. So this is where I build most of my cameras down here and just house a lot of the tools that I tend to use 
uh, for different productions. And so I'll come down here, grab the things that I need, and then kind of go that way. I did sound treat this room too, because it's a bunch of concrete. So down here are some sound blankets. Really, they're just moving blankets. So moving blankets up here on the wall, so that works. Okay, here is my workstation table. Uh, is where I've left it, left it last. So I have some pieces of rigs I need to actually build. This is my Z cam. I would love to share my thoughts on this camera with you all if you're interested. But um, yeah, and I have this up here. This is actually being held up, not by like, screws. I need to actually fix that, but um, with cement tape. <laughs> and it's holding up pretty well. These here are the Quasar tubes. The um, cheaper ones that you can get off of Amazon. I think Caleb has the exact same ones. These are really fantastic. And then over here, I have this shelving unit where I house like different uh, boxes, carrying cases, my lenses at the top there, battery charging. So this is where I kind of just keep everything kind of tidy. It's a little messy, obviously, because that's only me down here. There's a shelving unit. I keep batteries, audio stuff, and then more rig parts. All right, yeah, so that's my space.